Hi. In this video tutorial, I am demonstrating how to migrate hundreds of Google Workspace users to Office 365. This tutorial consists of the following steps. Verify your domain. Add text records to verify your domain. Add MX, SPF and other records. Create a project automatically on Google Console. Add scops for API access. Enable people, calendar, and contacts APIs. Create users for migration. Create CSV for user mapping and migration. Create migration batches. And start the migration. Now let's add and verify our domain. Please visit portal.office.com slash admin portal and enter your domain name. You will need full access to your DNS service to add new DNS records such as text, MX and other records. For this demonstration process, I am using my personal domain realtech.dev. Office 365 needs to verify that you own this domain. To do that, you will need to add the text records provided by the wizard to your domain DNS service. Depending on your DNS provider, DNS propagation may take from seconds to days. I am using Cloudflare, a free premium DNS provider. Cloudflare DNS propagation usually finishes in less than one minute. If you are using a generic DNS service, then you will need to manually add or modify the DNS records. You need to add a higher priority to your Office 365 MX record to continue receiving your emails to Google Workspace. Once you have migrated all users' email to Office 365, you can delete the Google Workspace MX record to receive all new emails to Office 365. After adding all the required DNS records, the domain will show as healthy. Now you can start importing all your users. You can use a CSV file to upload all your users. You will need to add proper permissions and licenses for your users. If you need administrative privileges, choose the Exchange Administrator role. Let's now initiate migrations process. Please visit admin.exchange.microsoft.com and click Migration from the left navigation menu. Click on the Add Migration Batch button. The The Add Migration Batch wizard will open. Enter your unique name for the migration and choose Google Workspace Migration and click Next. Click the Start button to create a project on your Google console and enable the required API to access the migration. This process will download a JSON file with the project name at the end of the file. Please note down the project name as you will need to enable some APIs to it. Copy the client ID shown and visit admin.google.com. From the left navigation menu, choose Security then Access and expand the Data Control menu. Choose API Controls and open Domain-wide Delegation. Click Add New Client ID. Paste the Client ID in the Client ID field. In the Auth Scops field, copy-paste the Scops showing on the Migration Wizard of Office 365. Visit console.cloud.google.com and choose the newly created project. Enable Calendar, People and Contacts APIs.
you can now upload a user mapping CSV file for migrating. As shown in the video, the email address column should contain the users created in Office 365 and the username column should contain the username in the Google Workspace. If you have created Office 365 users the same as Google Workspace users, then the username column is not required. In the latest version of the Exchange Admin, I was not able to enter or select the domain names we created earlier. Please visit the old version of the Exchange Admin from the Microsoft Edge browser and restart the migration process as shown in the video. I am in the old version of the Exchange Admin. Click Recipients from the left navigation menu, and then click Migration. Follow this video to create a migration batch. As you can see, in the old version of the Exchange Admin, we are able to enter the destination domain. Choose a user to receive migration reports and click New. The migration will begin. In a few minutes, the emails will start migrating. If you are seeing any errors, please post them as comments, and I will try to give you solutions. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching this video.